West to how mean friend and welcome to yet another video. In case you didn't know yet, my dear friends, The Rings of Power by Prime Video is not about adapting Professor Tolkien's texts. It is not about making an epic fantasy TV show. It is not about providing the audience with entertainment. No, it is about patting oneself on the back and uh, measuring egos. It is about shouting into the world, oh look at me, I'm here, I'm here, I am seen. And that of course uh, can be applied not only to the actors, but to the showrunners, to the screenwriters, to everybody that is involved with this donkey manure. But first, welcome my dear friends, for those of you who are here for the first time, welcome to European Lore, a channel of a humble European fella who likes to rant about fantasy on the internet, a man who has devoted his entire personal and academic life to the great of the fantasy genre of the 20th century and old English literature and language, and that is why this channel is from a huge part devoted to defending these great works of art and stories from vile creatures well, from Prime Video and Disney and um, other huge corporations. Now, of course, I have covered the Rings of Power many a time in my previous videos. Please feel free to check them out. And I even uh, predicted many things that then happened in uh, the individual episodes. So go, my dear friends, go back. And uh, if you haven't done so yet, feel free to watch those videos. Now, of course, we know that... Um, they have quota in Hollywood, and that is why they need to put the story aside, yada, 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 bow down to the gods of inclusion, representation, diversity, yada, yada. We know all that. That's, that's, uh, doubting it is out of the question today. But uh, sometimes it can be done so that uh, it's not um, a pain in the bottom, and uh, it can be included in the story so that you can see it, but... Uh, you can say, all right, all right, fine, fine, I uh, give you a pass because otherwise the show is fantastic. Such was the case with the House of the Dragon, not so with the Rings of Power. But of course, each and every time we have uh, a problem with a show, each and every time a certain show meets with constructive criticism, we are instantly called testophobes. Why? Because they have no other weapon. We know that The Rings of Power is a very bad show, full stop, a poorly made product that um, is bad as far as its writing goes, its visuals, its uh, screen, uh, I mean script, sorry, its uh, actors, the acting is what, wow, no, all the actors there are planks of wood. The only two actors that have some potential were uh, the guy who portrayed Adar, Uncle Benjen from uh, Game of Thrones, and uh, the bloke who portrayed Durin the Fourth, the um, the dwarf. But of course, of course, um, when they are being interviewed, the actors, the other ones, I mean, do you think that any of them mention Professor Tolkien? Do you think that any of them? Uh, expresses their uh, fascination and their happiness about being involved in something that should be adapting the works of fantasy? Absolutely not. It's all about me, 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 me. And you are all istophobes if you th don't think that I'm perfect. And such is the case with this, the latest interview with uh, the three actors that uh, portrayed Amazon's original characters, and of course, they are original characters, all of them. Even those that bear the name of those characters in the appendices to the Lord of the Rings, such as Tarmiriel over there. Because even those characters who share the name with the characters from Tolkien's texts are unrecognizable and they are doing things they have never done in the books, but we know that. So let us look at this interview that I had a good chuckle over, because it once again proved that I am correct and I am right. And none of these people really cares about art or acting or really uh, honoring any kind of source material. It's all about patting oneself on the shoulder and showing you, oh, look, now I am the Lord of the Rings. I am this or that. All right, but let us dive in. The Rings of Power cast members talk emerging from East 
backlash, these characters are undeniable. We felt a lot of love. Now, of course, of course, because this is YouTube, I will need to probably censor myself from time to time the, to please YouTube algorithm because they like to demonetize videos if they hear certain words. Let us dive in. The Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power cast member Cynthia Adai Robinson, who plays Queen Regent Muriel Ismail Cruz Cordova, the warrior Elber Ondir, and Sofia Nonviti, Princess Disa, who is the first uh, like female dwarf in Middle Earth, hmm, made the trek Sunday to look at comics and games, the unique event dedicated to pop culture cosplay and comics held in the, the medieval Tuscan town of Luca. In an interview with Variety, the three actors of colour spoke the <laughs> about the Easter backlash to their casting as major characters on the Prime Video show. So as you can see, they even introduced the article and the interview this way. It's not about these three actors played in the most expensive TV show ever made. There you go. This is the interview. No, no, it's not. Look at these three uh, aspiring actors, these three new actors who ha d don't have any huge career but, uh, b behind them. No. And this is the show that can uh, introduce them to the wide audience. Look at this. Read this interview. No. They don't start this way. They start, these are people of color and uh, you are an istophobe if you don't bow to them, if you don't think they are absolutely perfect and godlike. All right, let us move on. There's been a little bit of apology, a, uh, a little bit of silence, but there's been an undeniable shift, said Nomviti. Read below t for the full conversation. How does it feel to be at this large Comic-Con-like event in a medieval Tuscan town with thousands of cosplayers in the streets? Cynthia. And I, Robinson, I'm excited when I see the level of creativity and passion all these different films, television shows, books, comic books and manga. Just the time that people take to literally craft these costumes from what they have at home. It brings you back to something very innocent and pure and non-judgmental. When people come to these events, it's about f finding their community, feeling a little less alone, a little less weird, since what we are doing can be challenging sometimes. It's a good reminder of why we are doing what we are doing, to be a part of this larger storytelling environment. Um, and you have discovered this when? Like yesterday? Have you ever been to a con, to a convention of a sort? mainly than geek, pop culture oriented convention. You are talking about it as if you just discovered bloody Mars. And of course, why are you then talking about uh, people being istophobes when you yourself now just admitted that uh, fans like to get together because of the things they love and thanks to those things they, they love. And that those things they enjoy, like those books and comics and films and video games that you just mentioned, uh, should connect people and not divide them. So stop dividing people by your bullcrap. Sofia Nonviti. The one thing I'll add to that is that the difference here is that usually you're, a, you're in a space where there is a section of the city, which is the convention. In Luca, the entire city becomes the convention. Ismail Cruz Cordova. I'm very appreciative to whoever created this, that they've created a safe space for difference. That's very important to me. Um, now, I have to give the props to those two chicks. They at least said something that had, um, well, any, any sense to it that uh, you can tell that they've got at least a little bit of brains in their heads and that they, they, they can repeat longer sentences than Mr. Ismail here, who is just master Mr. Virtue Signaling here. Just I just appreciate that there is a safe space and it is important to me. Jesus Christ, man, learn longer sentences at least. Speaking of which, the inclusion of people of color in the cast of The Rings of Power sparked a st backlash online. A few weeks later, do you feel that the conversation about this aspect had subsided subsided a bit? Now, I would like to see some proof. Uh, they have been saying, those actors, that they have been receiving some uh, unpleasant messages. All right, show them. Show them. I have not seen a single one of them. A screenshot. A proof of any message that they would receive. If you show them to me, I will believe you. 
But I think that the majority of people just don't like the show because it's bad. Full stop. That's our main problem. Of course, there are idiots in every uh, group of people in, in the world, but it's only a, a mi minority. So, Cruz, the fact that the attention was shifted to other shows uh, shows you what the power of shows like this is. Can you bloody speak, man? The fact that it hit that nerve and that our being in it created such a response just brings attention to the greatness of fantasy, the greatness of Lord of the Rings, and why it's actually good that we are here. <laughs> can, you, uh, can you see that this man is absolutely blank? Now, firstly, do you think that it is only thanks to you that um, an attention has been brought to the Lord of the Rings and the greatest, uh, the greatness of, of the Lord of the Rings? Do you really think so? Oh, the ego on you. And secondly, please, please speak in a comprehensive manner. Did it become a bit too much? Absolutely. It's taken air time from the depth of who we are as artists. But it just shows you where we are in the world and how much work we still have to do. I'm just very grateful that it's just that it's us who are able to recalibrate, break from, reshape and make history. <laughs> that bloke says nothing. That bloke, if you just, you know, if you translate these words into what he really means, it's just uh, virtue signaling, I'm here, look at me, I want attention. Uh, 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 all right. And I Robinson. In order to not have such an impact, the pendulum has to swing. We are right in the middle of that process. We just want to normalize. We do have to discuss it because we are now in a space in society where need to now and again acknowledge exactly what is happening. What exactly is happening? What are you talking about? Can you see that? Those people are talking about... But what, what are they talking about? It's got no sense. You, you, you don't really know what they are speaking about if you didn't know from the headline of the article that they are all calling us Eastern phobes. The level of distraction or aggression that was put towards us, it's been a painful journey to get there, but it has elevated us. It has put us in a position where there will be a plague one day when the pendulum has swung to where it needs to be. <laughs> we will have badges upon the people who fought the great fight in order to get to a point to where there isn't such an eruption based, <laughs> based solely on that when casting announcement comes. While it's been a challenge, it has been a, phenomen a phenomenal moment to be a part of. Doors are open and accessibility is available for absolutely everyone to feel safe within a franchise and a story of this scale. It's been really important and empowering. Tears have been shed, blood has been spilled, metaphorically, but we are here. I don't believe this interview has happened the way it is written down. Because nobody speaks like this. Only robots speaks like, speak like this. This is an inhuman speech. Now tell me in the comments down below what you think. Nombiti, to answer your question, we still get a ton of contro uh, controversy, but there has been a shift. You know what there has been? It feels like there has been a sit down. It feels like we had to prove ourselves almost. We had to defend ourselves. But it's undeniable that these people, all these people are in the position that they are in deserve to be there and should be there. There is nobody else that could have played the role. I genuinely feel that there has been a shutdown. All right. I've even had uh, apologies, which I love, even if it were just one person acknowledging that that frame of mind was wrong. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, either they are robots or uh, I, I don't know, or they have completely blank minds. Cruz, at the beginning, there was a lot of tell us what you do. The show wasn't out. Now the characters are living in their own right. We've created these characters that, with the help of an entire team, live on their own and have their own impact. And the, as the conversation and the noise continues outside, these characters are undeniable. We felt a lot of love. <laughs> and I, Robinson, I, I've been pretty adamant, just on a personal level, that I was never going to let controversy define the role or define the experience. There is a certain amount of tuning out that you have to do when people are attempting to get to you. I had to try as best as I could to take control of this experience for myself. It's big. I just can't finish it. No, finish it for yourselves, this, this sentence. Um, 
Now, I have read this for the second time, and uh, for the first time, I thought that I, I was just uh, a little bit tired, and I didn't read it aloud. But when you read this shit aloud, I mean, what are these people? Now, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this verbal diarrhea that came out of them, because this made no sense. It was an absolutely just word after word after word, just put together in a random manner, saying really nothing. All right, let me know in the comments down below what you think. That just, and that's just proof. That, that That's that's a proof of uh, who we have in the mainstream entertainment industry today. Uh, these people should entertain us. Uh, no, they are not even good actors. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. All right, that'll be all. Thank you very much for watching. Anna Maria.